Welcome everyone to another weekly dose of WWE Monday Night Raw Previews. This is the Raw Preview for 9th June 2014 and this is the US thing guy. So now let's begin. The WWE Universe is still reeling from last week's massive shakeups that saw Batista quit WWE. Seth Rollins turns on his shield compatriot and Daniel Bryan's WWE World Heavyweight Championship reign come under fire once again. The questions continue to multiply as we approach this week's Raw, live in Minneapolis. Here are five to focus on. Number one is Will Ambrose and Reigns attain retribution. The shield is no more. Less than 24 hours after putting his body and career on the line in a hellacious six-man battle royal against Evolution at WWE Payback, a clash, the Shield won decisively. By the way, Seth Rollins and a few well-timed steel chair strikes obliterated one of the most dominant factions in all of sports entertainment history those hoping for some sort of explanation from the architect himself were left disappointed on smackdown when rollins told the ww universe that the only one person who needs to know why he turned his back on, on his brothers is himself as triple h said in his exclusive wwe.com interview on wednesday the calculating rollins was long considered the brains of the shield so, how will Dean Ambrose and Reigns fare without him? We'll hopefully get an answer to that question from the remaining Hounds of Justice when they appear on this week's Raw. Number two is how healthy is Daniel Bryan? Stephanie McMahon continues to force our injured WWE World Heavyweight Champion into difficult situations. Now, if the leader of the Yes movement is medically cleared to compete on June 29 at WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view, he must defend his illustrious title against Kane in a perilous stretcher match. If Bryan is not yet recovered from neck surgery at that time, the title will be vacated and for the first time ever will be put up for grabs in a monumental Money in the Bank ladder match. One week after Stephanie announced the two potential fates of WWE World Heavyweight Championship, she will officially address the health of its current bearer. What new information about Bryan's condition will the authority unearth? Number three is who will enter the Money in the Bank ladder match. Last Monday night, this year's Money in the Bank ladder match began to take shape when Alberto Del Rio defeated Dolph Ziggler to become the first superstar to qualify for the highest stakes bout. No stranger to Money in the Bank glory, having used a Money in the Bank victory to catapult himself to a WWE Championship victory in 2011, Del Rio faces an as yet unknown field of competition. Who will join Del Rio in his career changing ladder match? Moreover, what will its participants be for? of a WWE World Heavyweight Championship contract or the Kuwait title itself. Number 4 is who will Damien Sandow be this week? Now, it's no wonder why Damien Sandow was once confused for one of Adam Rose's costumed rosebuds. We've seen Sandow make a spectacle of himself as Magneto, Sherlock Holmes, Davy Crockett, Indiana Pacer Lance Stephenson and a rapper named D. Sizzle in recent weeks, making us wonder if the so-called intellectual savior of the masses might need some saving himself. Then again, Sandow's eccentric brand of live-action role-playing, LARPing for the uninitiated is undeniably entertaining, even if he hasn't necessarily translated to in-ring success. Maybe there's an end game to this bizarre fashion show that hasn't been brought to light just yet. Regardless, we can't wait to see who this verbose superstar will channel next. Last, how is Bray Wyatt reborn? He's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, Bray Wyatt. 
after Bray Wyatt's disciples, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan defeated WWE Tag Team Champions, the Usos, in a non-title encounter on Raw, putting the Swamp Monsters in strong contention for the championships. The Eater of Worlds returned on SmackDown to deliver an unsettling message to the WWE Universe. There's nothing left to fear, Wyatt said, speaking out for the first time since his last man standing match defeat to John Cena at WWE Payback. Brothers and sisters, I am reborn. Join me. Despite Cena's hard fought victory over the man of a thousand truths, it appears as though the Wyatt family is just as treacherous as ever. Perhaps the group's most heinous horrors have yet to be unleashed. Tune into Raw this Monday at 8 p.m. on USA Network and be sure to tune into the WWE Network for a Raw pre show at 7 30 and backstage pass immediately following the show. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Then leave a thumbs up, it really helps. Subscribe for latest WWE news and reviews. Also, check out my channel and the new banner app. This is the Wrestling Guy signing off for now. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.